Looking ahead to the trading week beginning Monday, November 22nd, first thing you need to remember is that it's a holiday shortened week in the U.S., which means likely lower volumes. Thursday is the U.S. Thanksgiving Day holiday. And then you look at the way the equities performed last week. The Dow Jones had its second down week in a row, worst week since September 27th. The Russell had its second down week in a row, worst week since September 7th in terms of performance. And then you had the S&P, which had an up week, and you had the NASDAQ, which reached all, new all-time highs up over 2%. So definitely a mixed bag, but a lot of that has to do with the COVID cases in the EU. If you remember during the height of the pandemic, people, when they did decide to buy assets again, rushed into tech. So that seems to be what we're seeing with the NASDAQ hitting all-time highs, while at the same time, the Dow and the Russell have their second negative week's in a row. COVID wave in the EU, the Netherlands and Austria have introduced partial lockdowns. Germany hit a new record high for cases since the pandemic began. And in Belgium, new COVID measures mandating work from home and indoor mask use has been announced. Netherlands, more than 20,000 new cases were reported on Wednesday. That's a new record for a third day in a row. And France, where a fifth wave of the pandemic is underway, the number of new cases topped 20,000 on just this past Wednesday. That's a level not reached since August 25th. Biggest one-day move we've seen for the two-year yield down all year long. Two-year yield fell between six and nine basis points, depending on what point in the day you were looking at. So treasury yields across the U.S. curve were falling. We're going to watch treasury yields next week. Now, another big piece of news that could happen next week, President Joe Biden says he will make a decision on who's going to be the nomination for Fed chair. And he says he'll do that before Thanksgiving, which is Thursday. So we're going to be watching for that. Jerome Powell, obviously not much changes. If it's Lael Brainerd, who is the other candidate, people think she's a lot more dovish than Jerome Powell. So that could actually matter to the stock market when that announcement is made. Now, in terms of data to come for next week, there is some. EU flash consumer confidence for November on Monday and in the U.S. Chicago Fed National Activity Index for October and the existing home sales for October. That's all on Monday the 22nd. On Tuesday in the U.K., EU, and Germany, we get markets November flash reading for manufacturing, composite, and services PMI. And then in the U.S., we get markets November manufacturing reading. Again, flash reading for the manufacturing PMI. Wednesday, the 24th, German November business climate will come out. In the U.S., we get the second estimate for Q2 GDP quarter over quarter. October durable goods. And one day early, we get the reading of jobless claims. In the U.S. plus, October PCE price data, personal income, personal spending, and the final November Michigan sentiment figures for um, I said that for November and also the FOMC minutes from the last meeting will be released. And then on Thursday, of course, the markets are closed here in the U.S., but we do get third quarter Germany GDP along with average weekly earnings for Canada. And then on Friday, November 26th, China's year to date industrial profits through, up, through October. And then also remember that Friday is going to be a very low volume day post the U.S. Thanksgiving holiday.